folks. Kokanee. It's Canadian. I don't know if Donald Trump would be approving or not, but he don't drink beer, so I don't think he cares. I drank uh, some Hefe. Some Hef or something that's got a big W on it. Drank that. It was pretty good. And I drank this, like, Tiger beer. Not Tiger beer from India, but, like, Dayglo, Elysian, or IPA. It was awful. It was the worst thing I have put in my mouth that's a beer in a long time. Fucking gross. It is hot as hell. I'm filming this at like 11 o'clock at night, and it's just brutally warm. I'm just, uh, just coconut's just, it's gonna try, but I doubt I'm gonna be all right. I went to locals. Two weeks in a row I've gone to locals and gotten top eight with sub terrors. Uh, I went three and one. I lost round one to Cosmo just because, you know, Subterra still has a problem with bricking. But you can actually uh, work around even going second if you just overload with hand traps, which, you know, isn't really a brick even going first because you can hopefully, you know, kind of beat them down if, even if you only set a, a one back row or whatever you're doing and you've got like a ghost ogre and an ash blossom in hand, you can kind of negate their bullshit. But anyway, I lost to Cosmo round one. Round two, I beat Buster Blader. It wasn't even a challenge. The Buster Blader deck was awful. Uh, round three, I beat True King Yang Zing, and uh, round four, I beat True King Dino, which True King Dino is probably the most disappointing deck to ever be hyped ever, that I'm, I'm, in my opinion. That deck was supposed to be hella good, and I never see it doing anything. I never see it winning any regionals. I never see it. It doesn't even really top at locals too much. I think one guy tops every week with it, and it's not even like, it's not even like the, the, the overpowered True King one, Dino. It's just... I think it runs like no diagrams. I don't know. Also exciting news for the SRK guys, the Shoy Rukin forums that uh, watch this. Uh, Ed comes out for Street Fighter V on uh, Tuesday. Uh, looking forward to that. I know some people don't like Street Fighter V, but you know every Street Fighter V game, or every Street Fighter, v, Street Fighter game goes, is that whenever the new version comes out, which I know Street Fighter V is already over a year old, but when it comes out, everyone's like, oh, this game sucks. Street Fighter V garbage. Absolute shit. But then, you know what, Street Fighter 4 came out in 2009, everyone was like, ah, oh, Street Fighter 4 garbage, complete dog shit, get back to Street Fighter 3, I remember when Street Fighter 3 came out, same thing, Street Fighter 3 is awful, you know, I mean, it was just, you know, it was, so when Street Fighter 6 comes out, people were going to say Street Fighter 5 is the best one, because that's what's going on now, people are saying Street Fighter 4 is the best one, do I like Street Fighter 4, hell yeah, I like Street Fighter 4, do I like Street Fighter 5, hell yeah, I like hell, Street Fighter 5, also, uh, what came out this week was Injustice 2, let me tell you a little bit about Injustice 2. Uh, the first Injustice game I played, I didn't really like too much. It wasn't that it was a bad fighting game, it was just uh, visually didn't please me. It was too dark. I don't like fighting games being dark and gritty. I like fighting games being kind of like bright and flashy. You know, it's got to be exciting. I mean, it, if it's too dark and too gritty, you can't even see what's going on. It's just not exciting to me. That's been changed in Injustice 2. Everything's a little bit brighter. It's still darker than, say, a Japanese fighting game, but we got to expect that. Japanese love colors and big anime tits and all that stuff. And uh, another problem I had with Injustice 1 was the sound effects and, cu uh, and uh, music and even the announcer, the narrator, was awful. I mean, the sound was terrible in Injustice 1. It was stupidly bad. It just it sounded awful. Like, when I was going to Evo... I hear Injustice being played, and it just it sounded like shit on their big surround sound system. And they turn on any other game, it sounded great. So I'm glad it, it you know I've been playing Injustice 2, and it's a lot better. It's it's way better. I mean, it's like the best turnaround I've ever seen in a fighting game, ever. Like you know that didn't go backwards or stayed just as bad or didn't you know it was already not that great of a game in my opinion. Now it's a great game. I mean, I don't think it's as good as Street Fighter or any of the Street Fighters, just because I'm, I'll admit, I'm really partial to those. I'm really biased towards them, okay? But, uh, good-ass game. I'm playing with Black Adam, and I didn't even know that he's, like, considered, like, top 10 tier, maybe even top 5. But, you know, uh, Black Adam's pretty cool. Uh, Scarecrow's all right. I've been playing with him. Just a lot of exciting characters. There's some that are really stupid, like, that I don't like at all. You know, there's just those characters in the game. You're like, why are they fucking here? Like, for me, it's uh, Firestorm and Blue Beetle. I'm like, what the fuck? 
They're shit characters. Nobody likes them in the comics. Especially Firestorm. What the fuck's he doing in there? Firestorm? Atrocitus or whatever his name is? I get... I, he's kind of cool, but... Still, you know, I, I appreciate them trying to bring other characters, but really? They should have brought an Atomic Skull before they brought in Firestorm. It's just f shitty fucking choice there. They're like a waste. I like the first DLC characters. Red Hood, uh, Starfire, and uh, Sub-Zero from uh, Mortal Kombat. I heard there's going to be a Mortal Kombat character in each one of the three DLC packs, which is going to be cool. I heard Raiden's going to be one, and the other one's going to be a girl, which would probably be Katana or something. Hope not. I hope it's a bad person. Like, uh, they don't really have any bad girls. Maybe Sindel. Imagine if Sindel. Nah, they already got Canary. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, anyways, enough fighting game news. I'm sure most of you are looking forward to uh, Yu Gi Oh! And that's what I'm here for, actually. I'm here for this Duelist Pack. Uh, what's this one called? Dimensional Guardians. I wanted to call it Dimensional Something Else. I was like, is it really Guardians? But yes, um,. Duelist packs are always strange, you know, they discontinued them for a long time until Battle City a couple years ago, and they had, um, what was the other one, Rivals of the Pharaoh, Millennium Pack, so they made a comeback, and now we've got Dimensional Guardians. Uh, Duelist packs no longer uh, center around one character like they used to originally, now they're about a few different characters together, and of course Duelist packs never really have anything too high value in them, except I believe Jurigito for a while was about 30, 40 bucks. And I guess uh, Ring Dragon of Raw Spear Mode is still pretty popular, too. It's pretty high up there. But uh, what I want to get out of this, it's a 50-pack box. It's a Duelist pack. You do not get a hollow in every single box, uh, every single pack. So it's kind of nice. I kind of like that, honestly. I don't like getting a hollow in every pack. Um, what I want to get, uh, really the only card that I can think of off the top of my head is there's a Pendulum Fusion. I think that's a pretty cool card to use it to fusion someone with your Pendulum Scale. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, Fright for Reborn is in here, I believe, and, uh, Fright for Daredevil. Uh, there's also a Speedroid, uh, Ultra Rare Monster, so I'd like to see how many Ultras I got out of 50 packs. Hoping to get, you know, like, uh, out of 50, let's go for, like, 6, because these are pretty hard to pull hollows out of. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm dying right now. It's so damn hot. I ate some chicken strips today. Those were good. Probably good. After the video get done, we'll play some more Injustice 2. Looking forward to Ed. Not really. Street Fighter 5 Ed. He's got the worst Street Fighter theme I've ever heard in my life. That I hate rap music. I'm a good rapper myself, but I hate the music. Uh, so, yeah. Dimensional Guardians coming up. I just saw Guardians of the Galaxy last week. It was pretty good. I've seen better. But all right, guys, I'm going to go over yonder. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to drink some more beer. And let's stay cool and let's get drunk. All right, let's get into this thing. Duelist Pack, Dimensional Guardians. What we got on the front here? We got, uh, is that the new, are these all new monsters? No, this one's definitely not. Is that a new monster? I don't think so. No, that's the one that's in uh, the newest pack or something. That's definitely a new monster, because I don't recognize that at all. It's not even close. So like I said, I want to get that uh, Pendulum Fusion. I think that's the coolest card in this box. Uh, this set, I should say. Uh, nothing's really expensive. There's no, like, $30, $40, $50 dollar card. I think the most expensive is, like, 10 bucks. Most of the good cards are 5 But, you know, hey, I'm always down for opening up. I like the color of this box. This, like, deep blue and purplish. Here we go, 50 packs, a rare card in every pack, not a foil. People probably aren't buying because they don't get that stupid foil. All right, here we go. Only five cards per pack. Oh, it's in the front too, look at that, Resonator Call. Oh, the first pack, an ultra rare, Raid Raptor Replica. More Raid Raptor support, Jesus Christ. All right, target one Raid Raptor monster you control. Special summon one monster with the same name from your deck, and if you do, as long as you control the face up, special summon monster. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target the targeted monster for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target the targeted monster with card effects. So it's kind of like a dupe frog in a way. Cypher Wing, Red Warg. Uh, yeah, but I'm really excited for Subterrors. They are really doing well. There's a Cyber. These are all like newer cards here. Cyber Petite Angel. Double Cypher. Yeah, these are all newer cards. I wonder why they're reprinting them. Synchron Resonator. Weird. Uh, the next special set we come out is next month. They got the Pendulum one. Yeah, this is a newer. I mean, all these are kind of newer. I mean, they're not new anymore, but to me they are. I mean, this this Red Resonator came out in uh, 
Oh man, high speed riders. Reject Reborn. Dark Resonator, that's a classic card. What's that out of Raging Battle? Or no, Duel's Genesis had Dark Resonator, one of the, one of the better sink, uh, tuner monsters back then. Yeah, but yeah, Substars are doing good. I've been thinking about adding King Caboyo to it so I can. Oh, look at this. A ra oh my god, this looks disturbing. Give me a second here. A rare Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend? You gotta be fucking kidding me. A rare version of it? God. It's always so gross whenever you see something like that. Eat it in. Is this a new one? I don't remember this one. Chain Resonator. All these Resonator cards. Man, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend is one of my favorite cards. That the newer, it's probably the best new Synchro Monster in a while. Oh, look at this! Paula Dynamo got a reprint. Is this the first time he's ever got a reprint? I only know him as the Ultra Rare of the Special Ten, the little Zexel Ten. Cool. Mirror Resonator. Cipher. I wonder if uh, Cipher Soldier's in here. That formerly known as Kinetic Soldier. He better be in here with all the Cipher cards I'm seeing. But sub tears. Okay, here's one of, yeah, this is definitely not a new monster. Dakini? If it is, I apologize. Pendulum Fusion, there it is. It's a super rare. Holy shit, I thought it was an ultra. Oh, man. All right, here we go. I'm going to read it. It's really cool. Fusion zone, one fusion monster from your extra deck using monster you control as fusion materials. If you have two cards in your pendulum zone, you can also use cards in your pendulum zone as fusion materials. You can only activate one pendulum fusion per turn. That's cool. I really like that. Machine Angel Ritual. Red Red Riven, God. See, he has a common weird too. I've only been printed as a secret before. I guess it's a good way to get try and get those high speed rider cards. A lot of these are high speed rider cards. Is this King Synchro? <laughs> this was just printed Invasion Vengeance. We already need to reprint it as an rare. It was a super in the other one. I like the artwork on that card. This is a good card, almost impossible to summon Brash. But Subterra is doing really well. I'm really, I'm really starting to think that Subterra is actually a really good deck now because I'm able to take on anything. Cypher a Tranger. Oh, here's an Ultra. Neo Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. Man, it's a beastly monster. Isn't this... Wasn't this already printed in Maximum Crisis? Three level nine monsters. That card has a cipher card as XYZ material. It gains this effect. Once per turn, you can detach up to three XYZ materials from this card. Monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly the rest of this turn, except this card. Also, each for each material attached, take control of one opponent's face-up monster in the end phase. While this effect is applied, they can have their effects negated. This their attacks become fortified, or also become also their names become Neo Galaxy Eyes Cipher Dragon. So it's just a gigantic version of regular Cipher Dragon. Regular Cipher Dragon's hella good. I remember losing to it. Uh, guys were taking my Beatrice. Lady of the Eternal, or whatever she's called, uh, with it and overlaying on top of Beatrice for a Galaxy Eyes Dragon. Pretty annoying. But getting back to Subter, I keep trying to get back to Subter. Subterrors, they're really doing well, and I, it's amazing I'm making Naturia Beast almost every first turn. I mean, I'm making Naturia Beast easier than, like, Naturia used to make it. Ridiculous. Cypher Tranger, Cypher Spectrum. Cyber Tutu Bond. That's all Alexis Rhodes cards, the Cyber Tutus and Blade Skaters and stuff. God, another rare Scarlight. Ridiculous. How can this be a rare? That's disturbing. It's so good. I just, I always see it as an ultimate or a ghost. I rarely ever see the secret, even though I like the secret print too. Scarlight Red Ring Archfiend is the last ghost monster ever printed too. They said they'll bring back Ghost, but it's been two years. Maybe they won't. King Synchro. This is all just red monsters. Every single card in there supported the Red Dragon Archfiend. Resonator Call. I like this card. Add one Resonator is a good searcher. Just add a Resonator. Pretty damn good. Another Pendulum Fusion. Damn. Damn. Oh, I need to start putting them out here. My bad. I apologize. I need to... It's so hot, it's messing with my brain. Mm. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I mean, it is warm. I'm sweating through my hat right now, my trusty beer hat. I'm struggling. Uh, got that Neo. 
See how many hollows I get. That's it right now, right? Yeah, just four. But still, Pendulum, I'm trying to get that Fright for Reborn. Fright for Patchwork, I don't know why that's not in this. It should be. I can't open this pack. It should be in this, but it's not. I guess they're saving it for later future Fluffle support, which is ridiculous because they've had Fluffle support for two years. Spiral Flame Strike. There's an altar. I really like the... It's an uh, Oddized Pendulum Dragon going ape shit crazy. Activate one of these effects. If you control an Oddized card, target one card in the field, destroy it. That's cool. Add one level add, add to your hand one level 7 Oddized Monster from your deck or one face-up level 7 Oddized Monster from your extra deck. That's pretty good. That's a cool card. I like it. I like that Cyber Petit Angel, too. Petite Angel. It's got tit in its name, so it can't be too bad, right? Just like good old regular Petite Angel. Did Taya use Petite Angel? I know she used Happy Lover. Polydynamo. I like Polydynamo a lot in uh, ABC. I think he's really good. If he's destroyed, you draw one card. It's not even an option. You have to draw a card. You draw one card, that's all it says, just straight up. But I like his effect because you can send two of the ABC pieces to negate and turn a monster or your opponent controls attack to zero. It's pretty good. King Synchro. Machine Angel Ritual. I think that the original Machine Angel Ritual's in this, too. The one with the wedding cake. I haven't seen it. Maybe they, maybe they made it a hollow again. It was a secret rare in Dragon's of Legend 3. Ooh, another Polydynamo. I have never seen anybody use the Cypher, Cypher monsters, except for Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon, which is for obvious reasons. It's pretty good. Red Resonator. Remember, good old Dark Resonator is the only one. Oh, Performapol Barracuda. Doesn't even look like a Barracuda. I'm confused. It's just, is that a flower? Is, there's also a flower named Barracuda. It's a uh, level 3 scale of 5. So it's Pendulum Effect. Once per turn, if your opponent, if your Performapol monster <laughs> battles an opponent's monster, before damage calculation, you can make that opponent's monster lose attack equal to the difference between its original attack and current attack, even though this card leaves the field. Okay. Monster effect. During either player's turn, you can target one Performable monster whose current attack is different from its original attack. It gains attack equal to the difference until the end of this turn. He only uses the effect of Performable Barracuda once per turn. I doubt I'll be seeing too much of that being played. But you never know. Just, ooh, Barracuda. Dang, 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 dang. You know, my favorite heart songs are from the 80s. I love hearts, uh, never. Alone and what about love? Alone. God, she sings so good. Till now, always gone by. This is stupid, why is her on my own? I never really cared until I met you. And now it chills me to the bone. How do I get you alone? Cyberpetit Angel. Ooh, there it is. Original Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Yeah, that's that's the one there. This is a great card. Just two generic level 8 monsters. It's hella good already. Uh, so this is the cover monster. Right? Yeah, it's it's a weird looking monster. Anyways, uh, once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly for the rest of this turn except this card. Also take control of the targeted monster until the end phase, but while this card is while this effect is applied, it has its effects negated. If CAC becomes 3,000, also its theme becomes Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. The main thing about that is you take the monster and you overlay for a Galaxy Eye's full armor dragon. You know, you just steal their monster permanently. And it's a really good effect, I think. So the only new monster on the cover is Barracuda. Which I don't know why they decided to do that. You think they would put the other... they try to get the other cards on there. Machine Angel Absolute Ritual. Cyber Prima. This card's tribute summon destroy all face-up spell cards on the field. Haven't seen Cyber Prima in a long time. Not doing too bad on hollows. Oh my god. I guess I got more than I thought. I thought I'd only get like six. So maybe I'll only get eight. King Synchro. Dark Resonator. This card was so good when it first came out. This the level three tuner. When there was like hardly any tuners in Synchro Monsters. 
It, it couldn't be destroyed by battle the first time. Polydynamo. I think this is the first reprint of it. I could be wrong. Another Dark Resonator. I love the Resonator monsters. I think they're cool. I'm, I'm really glad they made them an archetype in High Speed Riders. They're classic. That's all I can tell you. Like the original, like, spam tuner monsters. Here's a uh, Cypher Twin Raptor. All these cards are, like, new. Like, there hasn't been any... I mean, Cypher Primo. Was a Spiral Flame Strike at a second one of those. Because you need two. Where's the Frightfur monster and Frightfur card? I want to get those. Because it's always hilarious getting the new Frightfur cards. Come on, give me one, Daredevil. Oh, here's another super, Ben 10. This was in Dragon's Legend 3 as well, I want to say. You can ritual summon this card with Machine Age or Ritual. If this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original offense in the graveyard. If this card is tribute, you can add one light fairy type monster from your deck to your hand. Very important effect, actually, that last sentence. Adding one light fairy type monster from your deck to your hand is the, as far as I know, is the only card to actually be able to search out a fairy type monster. That's why it's pretty broken in the, uh, in the um, uh, Herald of Perfection uh, deck. Because you can always just search things out for Herald. Uh, you can tribute it for Herald. And, uh, and then you can add some for Herald's effect. Resonator Call. I, maybe Kinetic Soldier's not in here. Or Cypher Soldier, as they call him now. You think I'd see one by now. There's a Red Resonator. Cool. Chain Resonator. It, this is going to be all Resonators? No. Almost three out of the five were Resonators. I want to get all five Resonator. I want to get a pack of just straight up Resonator monsters or cards. Okay, here we go. We got a chance here. Reasoner, resonator Call. No, Red Mirror. I'm getting three. That's three Resonator cards in that one pack. Come on. Have I ever done that? Have I opened up a pack where... I think so. I think I opened up one of the uh, Duelist... Oh, God. There it is again. Why is this a rare? It's so weird. Did it deserve this? I mean, it's the last card ever be printed as a ghost rare, and here it is just sitting as an ugly rare. But I think I opened up a pack of uh, Battle City where I got all... or It was the one where you, could, you got the reprints of all the Destiny board letters, and you got the Destiny board support. I still can't believe they pr printed that field spell that supported Destiny board. What the fuck? I mean, it's cool they finally printed it. Cyber Twin Raptor, and there it is. Fright for Reborn. Nice. I just want to get this because it's cool. Target one Fright for Monster from your graveyard. Special summon it. During your main phase, if the card this, this if the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one of your banished Fluffle or Fright for Monster return to the graveyard. So it's kind of got... I can't remember which one does that. Which Fright for card uh, banishes. Oh, it must be Miracle. Fusion for Frightfurs. Must be supporting that. Frightfur Reborn. It's pretty damn good. You just bring back like a Sabertooth. You bring back a Kraken. It's not bad. She needed Absolute Ritual. Maybe they do not have the original Dark Resonator. They must not have the original. I thought they had it, but I guess I read it wrong. All right, I need that Fright for Daredevil. I, I need also the, uh, here's another Ben 10. It's a good one. I'm going to have to start, man, you get a lot of hollows in this. I'm going to have to start stacking them towards the front of the camera. But I'm still looking for, I only got like mm, four packs. I'm still looking for uh, damn uh, Fright for Daredevil. It's not in this pack. Only one Resonator card in that one. Just only Mirror Resonator. What happened there? Should be more than one Resonator card in every pack. That's blasphemy. This is a brand new card, isn't it? Doesn't it just come out Mac Maximum Crisis? Red Gardner. <laughs> Midshield Gardner. Uh, there's a lot of red cards there. Red Gardner, Red Sprinter. All right, two packs left. Come on, Fright for Daredevil or the Speedroid Monster. I want that guy too. No, oh, no. There's two resonators, Synchron and I wonder why they spell Synchron weird. They spell it with a K. So how it's normally spelled. 
I just like how they made the sync uh, the resonators in archetype in high speed riders. It's pretty cool. Like, wow, they're getting love. Last pack! Last best hope to get a fright for Daredevil or the speed droid like butterfly monster, I think it is. Come on. Not this ugly Cypher Twin Raptor and Perform Paul Ballad. Wow, I didn't even <laughs> Huh, what is this thing? It's a super rare. It's a uh, level 3 uh, scale of uh, uh, 2. Uh, pendulum effect. Once per turn at the start of the damage step, when your perform ball monster battles an opponent's face-up monster, you can make that opponent's monster lose 600 attack, even, even if this card leaves the field, okay? Uh, monster effect. If a perform ball monster is attacked, if your perform ball monster attacked, after damage scale, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. That target loses attack, eagle attack of that perform ball monster. Huh, that's an interesting-ass effect there. So, if you had a really big... I don't know any perform ball monsters that are big. I know it's that Phoenix. Phoenix is pretty big. Man, I have just... I am sweating badly. But that's the whole box. That's 50 packs. I mean, that really worked up a sweat there. It opened up 50 packs, even though there's only 5 cards per pack. So how many hauls do I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I, ah, that's nice. I got two of the fusion. That's like the best card, I think. Uh, I'm happy to get the Fry for Reborn. I want to get the Daredevil, but he was not in here. I got two of the Spiral Flames. Only got one Raid Raptor Replica. Um, I got the size Cypher Dragon. That one's cool. But yeah, I get the Ben 10. Not bad. I didn't think I was going to get that many hollows. Maybe this is just a really hot box, but I'm really excited to get the two Pendulum Fusions. I, I love the Fusion cards, like Ultra Polymerization. Uh, just anything that's Fusion card is pretty cool. It's classic Fusion. It's an archetype. Like this one you can just use as a Polymerization, but you can just also use Pendulum Scales for Fusion material. So that's really cool. I really like when they, when they change the game a little bit like that. Um, this is a good card, too, if you're using an Odd Eyes deck. It's really good. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed opening this box. It was a workout in this incredible heat. I mean, it is way too hot. Way too goddamn hot. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like what you saw and you want to keep seeing it, hit that subscribe button. And if you subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell. You know, for whom the bell tolls, that bell will let you know when I've uploaded another quality video to open up more of these kind of things. Uh, but yeah, that's, damn, that's a good haul there. So guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the views I get, all the nice comments I get, and, uh, I'll, I'm gonna go play some more Injustice 2. I'm gonna go, uh, get a little more drunk. I'm probably gonna drink some Mountain Dew as well. I'm, I'm craving some Mountain Dew in this heat. <sighs> Fuck, it's hot. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a couple days, and peace!